This slightly under mid-size package is underappreciated, I think. Got a little misfit. The sights offer decent visibility, although they could be upgraded to a set of nice luminescence. Number 15, Stoger STR-9C, $400. The Stoger STR-9C is a Turkish compact handgun that comes in a lot cheaper than Glock, but is it a good alternative to the Austrian pistol? Come find out. The universe of striker-fired 9mm carry pistols is expanding fast. It seems that every other manufacturer in the gun industry has made, is making, or will make a pistol to compete in this market. The Stoger STR-9C is a feature-rich, 24-ounce, 13-round capacity 9mm compact pistol that is optics-ready with four adapter plates. It shoots like a larger gun and handles recoil well. It features three-dot sights, a loaded chamber indicator, deep slide serrations fore and aft, and a familiar takedown drill. The gun comes with a five-year warranty, not a lifetime warranty, and is manufactured in Istanbul, Turkey. The gun's target market is concealed carriers and Glock 26 fans who carry the 12-round extended bag. Stoger has been around since 1922 and is the official and sole importer and distributor of Beretta, Benelli, Franchi, Stoger Air Guns, and Burris brands in Turkey. They are probably known more for shotguns than pistols, but the SDR9 and its compact cousin have struck a chord with the shooting public. Whoa, it doesn't want that 13th round to go in. Number 14, Canik TP9SA. $500. The Canik TP9SA pistol is an evolution of their TP9 double action single action pistol. It is single action only and comes in black and desert tan Duracoat. It has several positive qualities, including interchangeable back straps, 18 rounds of 9mm in high quality mags, and perhaps the best trigger you'll find on any striker fired pistol at any price. The pistol is comfortable in the hand and the trigger reach is quite short, making it an enjoyable experience. The TP9 is a polymer pistol with a small back strap and a vertical grip angle. It is a soft shooter, but has a bit more muzzle flip than most comparable pistols. The trigger is light and grit free, and the rest of the controls are well placed. The slide machining is of excellent quality, but the Desert 10 finish on the gun was more like paint than Cerakote. The three dot sights are not great for all purpose use, and the decocker is not available. The Canik TP9SA has a decocker on the top of the slide which makes it a no-go as a defensive weapon. The price is nice, but the decocker makes it a no-go as a defensive weapon. The Canik TP9SA is a good pistol with good ergonomics, shootability, accuracy, and concealability. It has a low price, but the value for that low price is excellent. It is a great option for a new shooter on a budget and for those with small hands. Empty cartridge. Oh, and another one. Hmm. Number 13, Rock Island Armory GI, $400. The Rock Island Armory GI 1911 is a bare bones 1911 designed to mimic the 1911s of the first couple of world wars at an affordable price point. It has a capacity of eight rounds, a 45 ACP caliber, a barrel length of 5.15 inches, a weight of 2.47 pounds, and a height of 5.5 inches. It is designed to be simple and to mimic the 1911s of the first couple of world wars and is great for those who like old school cool and want to customize the gun to their exact needs. The Rock Island Armory GI 1911 features a smooth wood grips and parkerized finish, fixed front and rear sights, a standard mag, and a crisp 4.5 pound trigger. It has a long break-in period before it will run reliably, but it is still ammo picky and only likes 230 grain variety ammunition. Accuracy is challenging due to the small sights, but if you stand still, exercise sound fundamentals, get the sights right and take your time, you can easily hit the A zone of a target. The Rock Island Armory GI 1911 is an affordable firearm with a nice trigger and old school ergonomics. It has no extended beaver tail, large ambidextrous safety, or aggressive checkering on the grip panels. The mag catch, slide lock, and hammer are all textured and slip proof for easy engagement. The rear serrations are short and shallow, but the slide glides smoothly. The gun is still a fun gun to shoot with memories packed into it. Even with its imperfections, it is an interesting gun that allows you to step back in time to the days when the 1911 was the most modern service pistol on the market. 
The Rock Island Armory GI 1911 is a classic gun that has been used for decades. It has changed over the last 15 years, with the finish being black, the RIA logo being small, and the wood grips being prettier. The price has also gone up, from $389 to $500. The Rock Island Armory 1911 has some pros and cons, but is still a top pistol due to its historical design and great ergonomics. It has a long break-in period, ammunition pickiness, and small sights, but is still a top pistol. Number 12. Beretta Pico $600 The Beretta Pico is the smallest concealed carry gun on the market today with a width of 0.71 inches. It is US made, lightweight and incredibly easy to operate and is ideal for competition shooting, tactical small game hunting and law enforcement. It features ergonomic construction and design, easy to operate and durable construction, customizable design, safety oriented design and precise machining. The mag catch isn't that easy to engage and the design enhances speedy operation and safety for beginners. The Beretta Pico handgun is a double action only handgun designed for defense and not target shooting. It comes with two stainless steel mags with a load capacity of six rounds, one of which features flush fitting in line with the frame and the other features a polymer base plate extension. The ambidextrous mag release and the left side slide stop are the only two manual controls and the manual safety device is missing. The mag release actuation is smooth and can be fired in the absence of a mag in place. The Pico pistol has a set of Trigicon sights that make it one of a kind. These sights are easy to fix without any complicated tools and feature a short and smooth design, preventing any snagging. The white dot sights offer perfect visibility in all light conditions and allow windage adjustment. Both sights can be replaced with optic fiber sights tritium or other suitable styles, making the accuracy of the gun fantastic. Beretta's Pico handgun has a high accuracy performance compared to other bigger pistols. It features nested recoil springs and low recoil, making it among the most accurate pistols and easy to use for all. It also features a modular design with a steel sub-chassis, a white light unit or integrated laser max laser, and a wide range of colors to customize the gun's look. Number 11. Smith & Wesson M&P Shield $500 The original S&W Shield was a wildly popular little gun, but let's see how it stacks up to more modern micro 9mm. The Smith & Wesson M&P Shield is an older generation CCW gun that has a 7 8 plus 1 capacity and a small footprint. It is equipped with a performance center ported slide and sights for added visibility in low light situations. The barrel and slide are ported for better performance and less muzzle rise when firing. The sights are high-vis for added visibility in low-light situations. The barrel and slide are ported for better performance and less muzzle rise when firing. The M&P Shield is a popular and proven concealed carry gun. The Smith & Wesson M&P 9 Shield is the OG of a great line of guns, but newer versions like the Shield M 2.0 and the Shield Plus have come out with better capacity, optics readiness and ergonomics. The trigger is smooth and short pull and the trigger safety is separated into two sections. The grip is a happy medium between a compact and a subcompact and the single stag mag still holds seven rounds. The sights are Smith & Wesson Performance Center Ported M&P 9 Shield Front Sight. The Smith & Wesson Performance Center Ported M&P Shield with Slick Back is a great gun. It shoots well, but the night sights are not very functional. The slide release is a pain to remove and reinstall. The barrel is 14 inch shorter than the Glock and the grip is 14 inch wider than the Glock. The Performance Center ported M&P 9 shield has a good ergonomics, a molded texture in the grip and an evenly balanced weight. Accuracy is good and dependability is excellent. Jackie's biggest qualm with the shield is its mushy trigger. Number 10. Glock 42 $400 The Glock 42 is the smallest gun in the Glock lineup with a 380 caliber, 6 plus 1 auto capacity, 3.25 inch barrel length and a single stack subcompact model. It falls between the Ruger LCP and LCP2 and Caltech P3AT in size and price and features such as grip still working for larger hands, just big enough to handle well and excellent size for concealed use. It is the perfect Goldilocks size as far as micro pistols are concerned. It is known for its reliability, but it is more ammunition sensitive than other models in the Glock lineup. 
It is easy to put rounds on paper quickly, but it will not operate 100% on all ammunition. It is important to keep track of what practice ammo your G42 likes and test defensive hollow point ammunition before trusting it with your life. The 380 ACP is now the standard carry round due to better performance in hollow point ammunition. It is lighter than 9mm and can still struggle to meet testing standards, but it is better to have a 380 you actually carry than a 9mm or 45 ACP left at home. The Glock 42 is a great choice for a defensive pistol due to its easy to carry, big enough to shoot well and low capacity. It has an internal drop safety, firing pin safety, trigger safety, mag release, slide release, and mag release can be flipped for lefties. Perfect. Number 9. Mossberg MC1SC $450 The Mossberg MC1SC is a semi-auto polymer striker fired pistol with a 9mm caliber, 6 plus 1, 7 plus 1 capacity, weight 1.18 pounds, length 6.25 inches, width 1.03 inches, height 4.3 inches. It is an exciting move in the industry. Almost a hundred years after the Mossberg Brownie, a pepper box Derringer style handgun with four barrels and chambered in 22 LR, Israeli Weapons Industries released the Tavor X95 as a newer bullpup rifle to rival their older SAR design in the same range. The Mossberg MC1SE is a compact concealed carry pistol with an aggressive trigger design and a safe takedown system. It also has a unique mag design with a clear mag and compatible with Glock 43 mags. Mossberg is late to the game in the polymer, striker-fired, compact concealed carry pistol market and its design doesn't offer anything fundamentally different from other similar handguns and is a bit behind on size for capacity. The MC1SC has a flat profile trigger with integrated blade safety, a reversible mag release, an aggressive signature Mossberg grip texturing, palm swell and grip angle provide superior ergonomics, a glass reinforced polymer frame for enhanced durability, and Mossberg clear count TM polymer six round flush fit and seven round extended mags offer low friction and high wear resistance. Mossberg is late to the game in polymer striker filed compact concealed carry pistol market and its design doesn't offer anything fundamentally the Mossberg MC1SE is an alternative to the Glock 43 but its size and weight for six rounds leaves something to be desired. Mossberg takes its reputation for quality and reliable firearms and applies it to this pistol. The mags are clear and the striker looks very Glock-like, but it takes down without needing to pull the trigger. The striker is advertised as a safety feature, but it is not necessary. If you're going to be unsafe with a gun, then you're going to be unsafe regardless of how the pistol was designed. Mossberg's MC1SC pistol is a great value for the price. It has a button on the back plate of the slide that allows the plate to be removed followed by the striker. The slide is held on the frame by the rear plate. The MC1SE does not have an external safety, but they have released a model with a cross-bolt safety. Other advertised features include a textured grip and snag-free sights. The MC1SE exceeded expectations, but one thing we'd like to see changed is the texturing. Overall, the MC1SE is a great value and you can't go wrong with it for the price. It's barrel, it is a DLC coated barrel, also stainless steel. It has a stainless steel slide, it is DLC coated, as is the 3.4 Number 8. Gearsan M1911SC, $700. The Gearsan 1911 lineup is a feature-rich series of 1911 single-action models, which would make John Browning proud. European-American Armory has begun importing these fine examples of a classic firearm that is always at a special place here in the U.S. This compact carry model sports an impressive list of standard features which typically aren't found at this price point. The combination of price and features offers you an incredible value. The MC1911SC is a single-action 1911 model that is built on the compact officer-sized frame. Speaking of frames, the frame of this compact model is made from forged aluminum which offers strength while also being rather lightweight. This concealed carry handgun is chambered in the powerful 45 ACP cartridge and holds six rounds in the flush-fitting mag. Adding to the impressive attributes of the M1911SC, this model comes standard with an extended beaver tail skeletonized trigger and hammer, and an ambidextrous safety switch. So if you're a 1911 fan and you're looking for a new carry gun, this little pistol could be exactly what you're looking for.
beauty of it, it comes in 9 or 45, and very, very smooth shooting, but ultimately carrying. Number 7, Springfield XDE, $450. Springfield's XDE is a subcompact single stack 9mm pistol with a hammer and two high quality stainless steel mags. It is also includes extra fiber optic rods and a flush base plate for the 8 round mag. Controls include a thumb safety, slide stop, takedown lever and mag release. The mag release protruded too far out the right side of the frame making it difficult to eject a mag. The Springfield XDE has a surprisingly smooth trigger pull that increases in resistance just before the break. It has a hammer that provides additional recoil spring strength, a tall slide with posi wedge serrations that are effective, and a trigger that is either so far from the back strap that a fingertip can barely reach it or completely unreachable. The trigger is sharply curved and sits a long way forward inside the trigger guard, making it difficult to reach for large-handed shooters. The XDE is a subcompact handgun with a pleasant and controllable trigger, gas pedal, loaded chamber indicator flag, external hammer and manual thumb safety. It is a pleasant shooter with a fiber optic front and serrations on both the front and rear of the front sight. The Springfield XDE is a comfortable shooting, reasonably accurate, reliable and concealable firearm. It has four groups of 115 grain plus P115 grain weak 147 grain and self-defense 147 grain. It runs through 500 rounds with confidence and can be decocked or cocked manually. Fit, finish and machining show considerable care. It is a skinny DASA subcompact handgun for fans of hammer-fired guns. This Springfield XDEC is a 9mm subcompact DASA gun with a capacity of one 8-round and one 9-round mag. It has a tall slide with shortish barrel on a tallish frame a short rail, and limited aftermarket options. Overall, the XDE is a reliable but not a five-star gun. Like a glove, hit like a hammer. Introducing the Springfield. Number 6. Century Zastava M88, $350. The Russian Tokarev is one of the most reliable and battle-tested handgun designs of all time. Century International Arms Zastava M88 continues the tradition, using a slim single-column mag and 7.62 by 25 mm chambering. Recently, Tokarev pistols have been chambered for the 9 mm Luger cartridge, which is affordable, widely distributed, and hollow point defense loads are widely available. Romania's Zastava has designed a compact version of the Tokarev, with good handling and excellent balance. It uses a single column 8 shot mag, sights, trigger, and hammer spur reflect the lineage of the pistol, and the slide is shortened into compact configuration. Chambering the pistol for the 9mm Luger cartridge means real economy and easy availability of personal defense loads. The pistol is reliable and as accurate as any Tokarev, securing 5-shot, 3.5-inch groups at a long 25 yards with Winchester USA FMJ loads. The M88 is a light, handy, steel frame 9mm pistol that retails for less than $300. It has a mag safety that prevents the pistol from firing when the mag is removed. The slide isn't locked and the pistol may be loaded with the safety applied. Initial range testing has proven encouraging and the pistol feeds Winchester 115 grain JHP and Winchester 115 grain silver tip bullets without any problems. The trigger isn't the smoothest, but it is a straight to the rear. Single action trigger and may be controlled. The sights were also good. This is a good gun for the money and one that will save your life if need be. All right, so our good old M88 Zastava. So this is the model M88A since it has an external safety that blocks the hammer from being struck. Number five, NAA-22LR, $250. North American Arms Company began in 1971 under the short-lived name of Rocky Mountain Arms in Provo, Utah, and released the world's smallest production revolver in 22 short with an overall length of 3.5 inches. The 22 caliber platform is not the best first option in self-defense, but it does offer handy size firearms that may be easier to carry more often than larger calibers. The NAA Mini Revolver is a unique firearm due to its size and features. It has a unique loading process where the cylinder pin can be removed and five rounds of ammunition can be loaded into its tiny chambers. During reloads, the cylinder pin can be used to punch out empty casings and the hammer can be set fully cocked to fire. Shooting the revolver is the second unique feature of this firearm. The NAA Mini Revolver is a last-ditch self-defense option 
with a shooting range of approximately 5 yards. It has a low-profile blade system front sight and rear sight notch and a 1 8 of an inch straight rearward motion of the 4.6 pound trigger pull. Clears the little arm that moves the sonar. Now right now, I'm going to be putting it on the safety notch. So there are notches halfway in between that allow you to keep the gun safe. Number 4. Caltech P32, $350. Pocket pistols have somewhat fallen out of vogue since the arrival of single-stack 9mm, newer high-capacity micro-compacts, and loads of modern concealment holster options. Many people that bought older Pocket 380s fired them a few times and realized they suck. Thus, the pocket pistol genre slowed down in sales as people realized slightly bigger was much better. However, maybe they just had the wrong caliber. What if we ditched the 380 ACP and looked at something in 32 ACP? The Caltech P32 is a micro-sized pocket pistol in a much lower recoiling caliber than most. It has a 7-round flush fit mag, full-length slide rails. It is the thinnest and lightest 32 ACP on the market with a short recoil operation, rear slide serrations, external extractor, 5-pound DAO trigger, and a double-action only hammer fire design. The Caltech P32 is a great concealed carry gun with a great compromise of size, power, and capacity. It is 0.75 inches thick and weighs in at 6.6 .6 ounces, making it easy to carry anywhere in a position. It has a 7 plus 1 capacity and extended 10 round mags are also available. The slide is small, but the serrations at the rear make it easy to manipulate and the light recoil spring makes it very easy to rack. The slide is small, but the serrations at the rear make it easy to manipulate and the light recoil spring makes it very easy to rack. And we're going to break the gun down to let you look at about field cleaning. Number 3, Caltech P11, $350. The Caltech P11 is Caltech's first in-house gun, designed to be carried in concealment and double action only. It has a 9mm caliber, short recoil operated semi-auto double action only action, 14 ounce weight, 5.6 inches length, 3.1 inches barrel length, 10 rounds mag, 1 inch width, and 4.3 inches height. Double action 9mm polymer pistol came about during the Clinton gun ban years when we couldn't have more than 10 round magazines. It is one of the smallest and lightest 9mm guns ever made, with a suggested retail price of $250 to $300. It was a great success and paved the way for its many successors and variants. Caltech designed the P11 to be a weapon for civilians and law enforcement with a 9mm caliber. Nothing to get hung up on in your pocket or in the holster or on your clothing. Kelgren had used his skills and know-how prior to the P11's appearance, so he chose the 9mm caliber due to his knowledge of the various procedures and their results. Dynamic tension and muscle memory will help you fire straight and true to neutralize your target. The Caltech P11 9mm is a concealed carry gun made for quick draw and quick shot. It should be practiced and trained with but should not be used for fun shooting. And this one tips the scales at just 14 ounces with a 3.1 inch barrel and five and a half inches overall length. Number two, High Point C9, $200. Founded in 1992, High Point Firearms was created with a sole focus on creating reliable, cheap guns, negating complexity and aesthetics in search of their design. This led to a line of pistols and carbines that use simple mechanisms to achieve economy and reliability. One such pistol is the High Point C9, a semi-auto with a polymer frame and a large die-cast slide made from a zinc alloy. The pistol does not operate with a breech lock like most other handguns. Instead, sheer heft is used to hold the slide closed throughout firing, giving the gun an empty weight of 29 ounces. The C9 is chambered in 9mm and can be used with an 8 or 10 round mag. Number 1. Double Tap Pistol $350 the Double Tap is a two-shot Derringer-style pistol chambered in 45 ACP and 9mm. Touted as the lightest tactical pocket pistol on the market, the Double Tap weighs in at 13 ounces and is only 5 8 of an inch wide. In addition to the two shots contained in the double-barreled action, the grip of the pistol allows the user to carry two reload shots. 
The Double Tap has a double action trigger pull with second strike capability. Price wise, Double Tap recommends about $500, but these two shot derringers can be found for much, much less than that. That's all for this video, folks. We'll see you next time.